How's it going guys? This is Steven. Uh, I wanted to make a video about entrepreneurship and uh, dealing with anxiety and depression. Um, it's very hard. Uh, your mind will play a lot of games with you. Your, your mind will tell you you're not good enough. Your mind will tell you give up when, when actually you should keep going because you're almost there. My mind used to play so many tricks on me. I would, I would uh, start, you know, I would start something and then midway through it, I'd get thoughts about, is this going to work? Should I even try this? Should I even bother? And I would end up giving up and then, you know, I, I would never know the outcome of it. And the, the thing with anxiety is it plays so many head games with you that at times you don't know where to turn. You don't know what. You know how to get over it um, and in the end you know you need to tell yourself deep within that not only in business but just in life in general that keep going forward what's the worst that can happen you fail you try again you fail man I failed so many times but I've you know succeeded you know a few times um, be only because I you know at those times of, of doubt, I, I would tell myself that, you know, keep going forward. You have so much more. It's going to work. Other people have done it. Why can't you succeed? You know, um, I still go, you know, I still uh, go through anxiety and depression and, and doubting myself. Man, the worst thing you can do is doubt yourself because, man, your mind is a powerful weapon. And if you think positive, positive results will follow. When you think negative, what's going to follow that? You know, you know you're know, not achieving what could have been, what should have been, what will be. Um, so I want to get into this video and talk about you know my daily habits of what I go through and, and how I can maybe help some of you um, – that are going through a lot of, you know, these things and 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 try to you know help. It's uh it hits it hits really hard for me because I've been living with it my whole life. Um, the doubts, the anxiety, the, the saying you shouldn't do it, don't do it, lay down, go back to sleep. Is it even worth it? Let me tell you something. When you when you have those doubts, think about you know think about the success. Think about other people's success. I can get there. I can do it. They they've done it. I can, you know. And, and think about the times that you just did give up and what occurred from that. Nothing. Probably nothing. You probably fell back asleep and you probably woke up with the same thoughts. You know. Let's let me go into my business. So I've had multiple businesses. Um, some failed, a lot failed actually. I, I failed a lot, and I'm not, I'm not scared to say that. And I've, and I've succeeded, you know, not a ton, but I've, ever since, you know, trying to cope with my anxiety and depression, I've started to succeed in, in, in more things than I ever thought I could, you know. Um, what anxiety really does, it, it, it alters. It alters the functioning of your brain. It, it's gonna, it's gonna tell you things that are not there. It's gonna tell you things that, you know, to, to give up. You know, you're not gonna be successful. You're not this. The depression will kick in with the anxiety. You'll feel down, and you'll have those running thoughts. Being an entrepreneur, I've had so many thoughts at one time. I, I it's not only because of the depression, anxiety. I just have so many thoughts running at one time, but with the anxiety and depression, man, you could have all these great thoughts, but then you have one bad thought and all of those get taken away and you end up just in a state of depression. So next time you, you're very anxious or you know, you're starting to get depressed. Think about good times. Think about, you know, if, if I try this and I fail, so what? I keep trying again and soon I will succeed because many have done it. Many have succeeded 
Many have failed. Many have failed millions of times. For for example, Donald Trump, twenty two million dollars in in debt, you know, and he's where he is. You know, people have money issues. People have relationship issues. People have issues in general. What's tomorrow gonna bring? The one thing about thinking about tomorrow is you're thinking about something that you can't you can't control. Think about what you're doing right now and try to better yourself so tomorrow will happen in a better state, in a better mindset. What I've done with anxiety and depression is I've, I'm always thinking in the future, what if, you know, is, is are people going to make fun of me? Am I going to go outside and people are going to watch me or are people going to talk about me? That, this. And, and nobody cares. Nobody cares about you. I mean, your family, do, you know, does. But strangers, they don't care. They care about themselves. Stop worrying. Social anxiety is the biggest type of anxiety, in my opinion. People don't even want to walk out the house nowadays without second guessing. Should I? You know, it's it's hard. It's it's really hard when when gurus and people that think they know say change your mindset change your life it's it's a lot harder than that you know you you got to you got to take small steps so i've taken small steps i've i've i have a journal which i write down 10 things i'm going to accomplish in the week that may not seem like a lot but when i accomplish it it gets done and i feel a lot better about doing it and i feel a lot better about the end goal also, breathing. Times get rough. Things get hard. People have money issues. People have relationship issues. All of that. But breathe. Keep breathing. I've uh, taken uh, on yoga and meditation, and it's and it's really changed me. It's changed the way I live my life. It's changed the way I think about things. And it is all about breathing. In the end, when you have a when you when you can breathe. And you have a clear mindset, man. You can accomplish great things. Where I've gone, I, I was in a state of depression where I wouldn't even get up out of bed to check my phone. I wouldn't even check my phone. I didn't want people near me. I didn't want people next to me. My family heard from it. Everybody heard from it. And I, and I thought to myself, why? Why do I need to hurt them because I'm going through something? Try to change yourself. Try to change your life. Do small. Take small steps. I can't stress this enough, but start breathing. Start thinking more positive. Because, you know, laying down in bed and, and shutting off the world is, is not going to change tomorrow. It's damn sure not going to change today. So I just wanted to, this is pretty much an anxiety vlog, not so much about entrepreneurship and e-commerce and Facebook and, and all of that, which I really love, but this is about really anxiety and depression and, and how I feel and, and what I'm doing to get over it and my daily obstacles to uh, overcome this. I'm going to start making weekly videos about, you know, my weekly anxiety, my weekly depression, what I'm doing to help, you know, if this can help a few people, that's all I care about, so uh, if you're watching this, thanks for listening, and a lot more content's on the way.